years have. We're talking about the uh, life of the solar system, uh, 4 billion years for uranium U-238. Uh, a meltdown is forever. Parts of the Chernobyl area are a dead zone even today. Is it possible that the quake smashed the rods into each other and that could cause another, well, it could cause a nuclear reaction? It's possible because we don't even know the state of the generators, the state of the core. We can't even get close to it. There's no electricity there, no pumps, no cooling water. The rods are exposed, up to 70% core damage in Unit 1, and we simply don't know what's happening because it's too dangerous to get in there. And when they evacuate, it, the thing is going to be in free fall. Meltdown is inevitable once they have full evacuation. Now, that, that sounds awful. And at the same time, we're getting reports that traces of radiation are surfacing in Southern California. Well, you Do we need to worry. You and I have traces of the Chernobyl accident of 86 in our bodies. Radioactive iodine from Chernobyl hit New York.